Okay, so what's this? Well, all right, one, two, three, four, five is the longest continuous chain of carbons. No branches on there that I can see. And so therefore, that's going to be pent is five, ain, single bonds. That's pentane. Now, now your teacher's going to try to be tricky, right? They're gonna, he's going to do this, or she's going to do this. You're going to put the carbon up there, and then you're going to say, what's that? And you're going to say, oh, there's a branch there. There's a methyl on there. There's no methyl on there. Look, this is the longest continuous chain of five, remember? So the thing is, this is going to still be pentane. Whether it's bent or not, that's okay. The longest continuous chain is five. The next one's a little different because it's got one, two, three, four, five carbons in it, so it's an isomer of pentane, but longest continuous chain, one, two, three, four, going that way, or going that way, or going this way. Now, you're saying, well, okay, I get this. There's a methyl branch here. It's here, right? And there's a longest continuous chain. But do I say that the methyl is on the third carbon in or the second carbon in on the chain? Use the lowest numbers possible. That's the IUPAC rule. International Union of Physics, Physicists and Applied Chemists or something like that. Now, that means then when you are trying to tell where the branch is in the chain, you're going to say, okay, lowest number possible. This is the branch. Here's the chain. I know it's a butane and the methyl group is on the second one in. Because remember, you can take this molecule and turn it around, right? And it would then be from left to right, the second one in. So it doesn't matter. So this is going to be a methyl branch that is on the butane, but it's on the second carbon on the butane, so we call it 2-methyl-butane. Well, that's cool. It gets crazier. Now, what about this one right here? Okay. Longest continuous chain of carbons. One, two, three, four. Could be one, two, three, four. It won't make any difference, by the way. One, two, three, four. Won't make any difference. I think I did that. Won't make any difference, by the way. Now, so the longest continuous chain here is four. So you know that it's a butane. Right. But this has two branches. Kim, what do I do? It's okay. It's two what branches? There's a methyl branch here, that's a CH3, and a methyl branch here. Hey, that's an ethyl! No, no, it's two methyls. And that's coming up later with the, with the ethyl. So now look, so you've got an ethyl, a methyl, <laughs> methyl there, and a methyl here. So where are they? Where are the, well, they're on the second and the third carbon in. Now you're going to say, well, it's the second carbon in this way and the second carbon in this way. Yeah, but once you choose one way to do it, you've got to stick with that. So you're going to go, there's a methyl there and a methyl there. On the second and the third carbon in on the branch, that's going to be a methyl on the two and a methyl on the three. So you've got methyls. How many? Two. That's dimethyl. You have to say dimethyl for two methyls. Then you've got to say where they are. One's on the two and the others on the three separate numbers from letters with hyphens and numbers from each other with commas. Two, three, dimethyl butane. Perfect, right? You can see that in the name. If I didn't give you this and just gave you the name, you'd say butane, draw four carbons, and then put a methyl on the second one and a methyl on the third one. Beautiful way to name these. Isn't that, isn't that great? Okay, now what about this one down here? Woohoo! All right. Now, how are we going to get that one done? We are going to find the longest continuous chain. And the longest conti... let's see! One, two, three, four, five, six. Made it that way. <clears throat> it can't go this way. Look, one, two, three, four, five. That's not the longest continuous chain. Don't pick it. Six is the longest continuous chain, so that's going to be a hexane. That's a hexane. Now, where are the branches? Well, this is a branch. And this is a branch. That's a two-carbon branch. So what's that going to be called? Two carbons. Eth. Branches end in Y-L. Ill. Ethyl. Okay. So this is going to be a methyl and an ethyl. Now, where are they? There's a methyl on the two and an ethyl on the four. Or there's an ethyl on the three and a methyl on the five. What's the lowest numbers that you can get? Two and four are lower than three and five. And so therefore, because the lowest numbers start at this end, 
that's the end you pick to be able to name it. So, you've got six is the longest chain, that's a hexane. The methyl's on the two and the ethyl is on the four. Now, who comes first, ethyl or methyl? Well, alph alphabetically, ethyl comes first. And that is an acceptable way of doing it. I'm not going to do it that way because I hate doing things alphabetically when I can do them in a very nice consecutive fashion in based on order of complexity, where I can go smallest to largest. And that probably, well, I'm not going to say it's necessarily the best way. It's the best. So, the methyl is the smallest and it goes first. Ethyl comes next. So I'm going to go methyl. Where is the methyl? The methyl's on the two. 2-methyl, hyphen again, separate the letters and numbers with hyphens. Where's the ethyl? It's on the 4. And then you attach the ethyl onto the hexane and you get 2-methyl-4-ethyl-hexane. That's what that is. That's an isomer of nonane.